Welcome along to another presentation from the Computer Information Agency. In this presentation we'll look at moving the SharePoint databases in Small Business Server 2008 RC0. If you need information on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint, we suggest you have a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. More information can be found at http colon forward slash forward slash wssops.ciaops.net.au If you find these video presentations helpful, we'd appreciate any donation at donation.ciaops.net.au Okay, here we are on Small Business Server 2008. We're looking at Company Web which is SharePoint version 3. If we take a look at the file structure, we'll notice that the SharePoint databases by default are installed into the C drive of the system. They're installed under Windows, under a directory called SYSMSI, then SSEE, and finally under a directory called data. Basically when we move these databases we'll find that the complete folder structure from Windows down is replicated on our new drive. So the first thing we need to check is that we have an available drive which we do in this case we will want to be placing it on volume E. To make the change and migrate the databases to another drive we run the Windows Small Business Server console and we then select the backup and server storage icon. From there we select the server storage tab and we note that we have our two volumes here. Over on the right hand side we will see that there is an option to run a wizard to enable us to move the SharePoint services data. So we click that to commence the wizard. We'll now see the wizard commence. It asks, gives us a, a certain amount of information. We go next to continue. It will now check our server. If we haven't configured our server backup, then we will need to do this before we move our data. To continue the wizard, Without backing up the server, we click OK or we click Cancel to close the wizard. So I'll click OK to continue. Now I'm prompted for the new location of the SharePoint data. In this case, as we said, we're going to place it on the E drive. If there are additional drives, they will be displayed. But at the moment, we've only got the E, so we will select the Move button. And the wizard will now commence moving the data basically by doing a SQL detach, moving the data by copying, and then an SQL reattach with the data in the new location. When the process is complete, we're given a summary of what's taken place. Click Finish to end the wizard, and if we return to our Windows Explorer, we'll now see that the SharePoint data is no longer there. If we now look into the E drive, which was the destination into which we copied our data, we'll see that it has replicated the Windows structure uh, for SQL data identically. If we click in the data directory at the bottom of the tree, we'll see that we have a number of SharePoint specific databases, including the admin content, the config database, and also our SharePoint content database, and finally the search. It's important to note that if we return to our original directory, that not all the databases have been relocated. We'll notice that there are still a number of S standard SQL databases. We can, however, run rerun this wizard at any time in the future to shift our SharePoint data between any data drives on our system.
This has been another presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and please feel free to send me an email feedback via director at ciaops.com or watch my blog which is at supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for watching.